I'm continuing my pursuit to find the ultimate minimalist vacuum tube radio. This is a, another one tube, and of course part of the criteria is it has to operate off batteries. It can't depend on the AC line. This is my first shot at a super hit, and I gotta tell you, I don't know if it gets much better than this. One tube, like I said, operates off of batteries. And uh, well, let's just power it up and uh, see what happens here. Likewise, would either be sent to prison camps or summarily executed on the spot. That station is in Beaumont, in short, about 70 or 80 miles away. Like the first station I heard when I turned this on was KOKC in Oklahoma City. The future would be here. It's all around us. It's the air we share. At Duncan, the world's number one. Alan at home against Desmond Ritter and his. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk real quickly. The world's wide. If you take the entire world, 90, it's still 90. Significantly reduce the amount you will owe if you. Time to go more in depth about my situation because I think this product may be a, a good fit for me. Yeah. Fest in store and online in Lowe's. Along the busy streets, the brightness of the roaring fires and kitchens. That's it. I didn't count them, but uh, I bet you it, uh, it'll receive any station, uh, any uh, pretty typical AM radio will receive. It's hot as a firecracker. In fact, uh, when I originally built it, I didn't see any need for an AVC because I couldn't imagine that the signals would be strong enough to overload it. So I didn't put one in there. And as soon as I turned it on, it was overloading on all sorts of signals. So it forced me to go back and put this little kludge right here, which is the AVC circuit to get the darn thing under control. But that's it, one tube, a one R5, uh, about 67 and a half volts. Uh, it, works, it works down all the way down to around 25 volts, but the gain goes up quite noticeably up till you get up to around 55 or 60 volts. So, uh, you know, six or seven nine volt batteries in series is a good B plus supply. And of course the the uh, filament is operated off the, the nine volt battery. And uh, this thing will, you know, it'll, it'll go for probably for years on a set of, ba on just, you know, one set of batteries because the current is, is just so darn low. Really an amazing little receiver. Just blew my mind how well it works and uh, how much better it is than a grid leak detector or uh, even a, a, a regenerative.